Hi guys, today I just wanted to do a quick unboxing. I actually recorded this when I received this package in December. And I thought that I somehow lost the footage, but then yesterday I found it. Turns out that I had accidentally put it in a folder where I did not think to look for it. But now it's here and now I can finally show you what I got. So two years ago, I made a post in the Graphic 45 by Southern Trade Group. I was looking for a specific uh, paper collection that you cannot find in Denmark. And then I got a message from a very sweet lady who asked me if I still needed a collection and if there was anything else I needed. She was willing to buy it for me and then send it to Denmark. And she found a couple of things for me, but then the COVID hit and the shipping prices went way up. So we waited um, to see if the prices would go back down, but they did not. It actually just got more and more expensive. But in that time, she did find me um, a few more things, including some of the newer collections. Well, they were new at the time. And finally, in December of 2021, I said, well, F it, just ship it to me. I want it now, and of course, I will just have to pay for it. And that was one and a half year after I made the post. So my dear friend, she did manage to find me some really nice things. And again, I would have never been able to get this in Denmark. So I am, of course, very grateful that she did this for me. And I was very excited to finally get my package. I mean, one and a half year is a long time to wait. And I actually managed to have two kids while I was waiting for this. I was pregnant with my daughter when I made the post in July 2020. And I just had my son in November 21. So yeah, I kept busy while I was waiting. And that was um, French Country, one of my favorites. And this, the Nutcracker, is also one of my all-time favorites. And then we have the Let It Snow. A beautiful collection, beautiful strong colors. I think I actually got two of these. And then there's this uh, pack from Prima. Also impossible to find in Denmark. Um, and another Nutcracker Sweets. And Once Upon a Springtime. This is also a gorgeous collection. Well, all of them are. But I'm really glad that they decided to bring this back. And then there are some chipboards for the Let It Snow. And then I have a little gift from my friend. She knew how much I love the Nutcracker Suite, so she wanted to give me all of these old stamps she found. And I love them. They are absolutely beautiful. All of the stamps from the old three stamp sets are here. And of course, I was very excited about these. Thank you so much, Eileen. You have done so much for me, and I am very grateful. She's also the one who encouraged me to apply as a brand ambassador. So again, very grateful. Thank you so much, Eileen, for all the stamps. I love them. And I did use them to make some Christmas cards. But let's look at some more stuff. This is the die cuts for Let It Snow. And this is the journaling cards. Beautiful. And then I have some 8x8s, the Nutcracker Suite, and the Let It Snow. And in this lovely bag of goodies, I have some old stamps. This is for the Rare Oddities, and this is for the Old Curiosity Shop. And then I have two more for the Rare Oddities. Brand new, never been used. Well, they have now. I was, of course, very excited to try them all. And I love each and every one of them. And then I got some journaling cards for the Penny's Paper Doll collection. 
I managed to find everything else in Denmark, the 12x12, the 8x8 patterns and solids and all the other embellishments. And here is the French country 8x8. Love the sunflowers in the back. Beautiful. And then I have this. Very excited. The old curiosity shop 8x8 pad. I have a DCE with the 12x12 pad and chipboards and stickers. So of course I had to have the 8x8 too. And then we have some pockets and tags for the Rare Oddities collection. I'm a little sad that they don't make the tags and pockets anymore. I love them. And then we have some of the chipboards. Another sheet of chipboard, again, for the Rare Oddities. And then some tags and pockets for the French country. And some flowers. Beautiful. Let's see what else we have. The journaling cards for the Rare Oddities collection. And they came with a nice ribbon. Thank you. And I also got some stickers for Rare Oddities. And last but definitely not least, the one that started it all. The 12x12 Rare Oddities paper pad. This is just amazing this is actually the one that got me into paper crafting i bet that a lot of you know what anna from norway did with this her work is just amazing and i've had so much inspiration from watching some of her creations and what she did with the rare oddities just blew my mind it was actually my mom who showed it to me. She started making mini albums. She made one for my oldest son, Kian. And then, of course, I was hooked. I wanted to do it. So yeah, big thanks to my mom for getting me into all of this. I love you, mom. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and happy crafting.